Hello, welcome to a new video about TMS Web Core for Visual Studio Code. In this video, I'm going to show you a new functionality uh, that is called GitHub Copilot. This is a, a tool that uh, you can access uh, through a Visual Studio Code extension. It's installed here, okay? And you need to get into the uh, wait list in order to get access to it. But uh, the nice thing is that it uh, also works for Object Pascal. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works. Don't worry, this is not going to replace any, any uh, developer, but it's going to ease the uh, workflow of uh, finding um, like an algorithm in internet and then copying that algorithm into your source code, uh, modifying it and, and so on. That workflow is easy because you don't need to get out of uh, your uh, development environment. And it's also smart enough to you know about your variables, your existing code base and, and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is to uh, write a function that is going to validate an email address. Okay. So um, one of the ways to invoke uh, GitHub Copilot is by writing the, the comment about a function in plain English about what you want to do. Okay. For example, you can, this function uh, takes, uh, okay. Uh, as you see, this, uh, this is suggested by GitHub Copilot. You can see it as a code inside on steroids if you are a Delphi developer. Okay. Um, takes a string and validate to see if it's a valid email address. Okay. And returns true if it is. Okay. This is being suggested most most of it it tries to guess what uh, you want to do okay so now when you press enter okay is suggesting you a potential uh, function as you can see it's not providing you any kind of data type and, and so on sometimes it's not working properly or you know it's mixing uh, be aware that this is based on the existing github code base so sometimes uh, the solutions provided are not exactly what you are looking for. Again, this is not going to replace anything or write all the code for you. It's a helper, uh, so you, you need to see it that way. So uh, what I can do is to instruct more uh, in the comment the way I want it to do it and keep writing code and see what are the suggestions I'm getting, okay? And validate it using regular expressions. And as you can see, I'm using this unit, okay? So once I press enter, what I can do is to press control enter, and then I will get a window in which uh, I will get, um, you know, potential solutions. And as you can see, this one looks very, very similar to what I want to do. It's including the parameters, it's returning a, a, a boolean, and so on, okay? So I like this regular expression, but, you know, I can, see if there is uh, other ones that are looking more uh, similar to what I'm looking for. Okay, as you can see, it's like you are searching for it on the internet and trying to guess which one is going to be valid. I like this one, but has several differences. I'm going to try to be more specific. Okay, I'm going to be creating here is valid email, and this is going to be a string. Okay, all that is being suggested. Okay, it's helping me in order to write less code and trying to be smart enough, okay? Uh, so I'm going to be adding a variable. I'm going to be adding a regular expression, okay? In any case, the one that I should be using is T-Rex. This one is living or is uh, implemented in that library, okay? And now I'm going to be invoking here and see what I'm getting, the solutions. Direct X match success. Okay, let's see. This one looks good, and this one looks good also. And this one is looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to accept this solution. I'm not going to need this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the result of the function. I'm going to be returning the success of matching the regular expression based on the string I'm getting into. As you can see, the solutions, the variables and so on, um, you know, are in sync. Right? I don't need to replace many of them. Okay. So, okay, now I have the, the function. Okay. I'm going to compile to see if this at least compiles properly. So I'm going 
here and I'm going to build this project. Okay, it's building properly. So now what I'm going to do is to use that, that function. So for that, I'm going to create an interface with a button here. I'm going to change the caption here to validate. I'm going to get here an input, which is uh, going to get the email of the user. And when clicking on the button, I'm going to get this function. I'm going to move it below here. So it can be access. Okay. So here I'm going to say if is valid email. Okay. And this is also suggested. As you can see, it's in, even in Cladding for one, which is not the right thing to do. So I'm going to be more specific text then okay begin and here i'm going to be calling show message and this is also su suggested so message the email address is valid knows that if i call is valid email and is valid email is a function that validates an email so more or less this is going to be like the message uh, to show okay so i'm accepting that and then here i'm accepting the else begin and then the show message, the email address is invalid, is also uh, something that is being suggested by GitHub comp compiler. So I'm accepting that. And then the final end. Okay, I'm going to be compiling this to ensure there are no issues. It's compiling properly. So now it's a matter that this expression, regular expression, is valid or not. Okay, so now I'm going to be running this application. Okay, so now I'm going to be entering here something, and this is not a valid email address, even if I include the add, it's not valid, okay, if I include this, it's still not valid, but if I include .com, for example, okay, it's valid, okay, the regular expression is, is the right one, okay. As you can see, it's pretty easy to use it, and it's very handy, you know, in order to come up with these kind of things, regular expressions. So the goal is to uh, keep writing code in the way you are used to, but be aware of the su suggestions because because it can save a, a lot of uh, time. And also there are other samples that I will try to, to post more videos about, you know, repetitive uh, code that you can be writing that is smart enough to detect what you are trying to do. Okay. But as you can see, it's still, it, it works with object, object Pascal properly and it's something uh, very nice uh, because it's very innovative and I hope you like it. Thank you.